Welcome to TechSibo.com. This is part 10 of creating responsive website with ASP.NET and Bootstrap. In this video I will show you how to create master page with Bootstrap, and how to create web forms using master page. If you are not yet watched previous videos, either you watch the video or download the project files, links in the description. ASP.NET master pages allow you to create a consistent layout for the pages in your application. A single master page defines the look and feel and standard behavior that you want for all of the pages, or a group of pages, in your application. When users request the content pages, they merge with the master page. So let's create our master page. Right click on your website name and select add and click add new item. Select master page. Name your master page. Now our master page is created with the default structure. Now let's add our bootstrap files to the master page. Copy the head section from our previously created normal web form. Replace the head section of master page with this. Change the title. Now add our navigation bar. Before pasting the code let's add some comments for better maintenance of code. Then add our footer and javascript files. Now go to the design view of master page. Now everything added successfully. In the source mode, you can see the content placeholder. A content placeholder control defines the region for content in a master page, and renders all text, markup, and server controls from a related content control found in a content page. That is content placeholder display contents from web form that are associated with the master page. Let's see it in action. So let's create a new web form. And tick select master page to assign master page to the web form. Click add. Select our master page. Click OK. Now our web form is created. Look at the code, it drastically reduces the code. Because all the HTML files are inherited from our master page with the master page file tag. Also the content placeholder ID is same in both master page and web form. Now in our web form let's add a heading to welcome our admin. Now let's see the action in web browser. Look at that, 
our web form inherits the style from the master page. In this you can save lot of time. Let's edit our navigation bar. Now make our content placeholder in container class. Now it perfectly align with the contents. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot. Thank you, see you in the next episode.